Welcome back to His or Hers. I'm Kaylee. Me llamo Pablo Emilio Escobar. Y soy Tata. <laughs> ¿Quieren plata o plomo? I don't even know what you're saying. You want money or lead? You know I'm going to give you lead. Today we're talking about a show we found on Netflix while we were Netflix and chilling. Um, Narcos. Netflix and chill? Do you get like snacks and you watch Netflix and then you, you know. Hmm. Oh, okay. So this review is coming a little late. We actually just found this show on Netflix recently. The show actually premiered August 2015. Yeah, so almost a year ago. Since we're doing it so late, this review is obviously a spoiler review. So if you guys haven't watched Narcos or you're not caught up with the season yet, go ahead and exit out of this page. We Unless you want to know what happens, I will be willing to tell you. Narcos is about the rise and fall of Kingpin Pablo Escobar from Colombia. There we go. Um, I just speak no Spanish, so I'm sorry. And how he has DEA agents hunting him down. And for obviously being a kingpin. Well, it starts off with the earlier days of the drug battle. And it works its way to all the stuff happening between the members of the cartel moving cocaine from Colombia to the US. the U.S. And you know, we don't play that. So, no drugs. Drugs are bad. Yeah, by the way, don't do drugs. Disclaimer. Any type. So season one mainly emphasizes the rise of Pablo Escobar. We read that season two is going to focus on the demise of him. And it's also going to be the fall of the... I don't know how to say it. Medellin? 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 Cartel and the rise of the Cali Cartel. That's not California, by the way. I was so disappointed. I was so confused for a second. Cali, Colombia. Not California in the U.S. And it's said to premiere September 2nd. So, soon here, people. We definitely binge watch this movie, and I love it. Show. Oh, that's not a movie, right? Every day we were watching about two episodes. They're about 45 minutes long. 48 minutes long. They're about 45 minutes long. I think there's 10 episodes in the season. Sometimes we'd watch three felt a little optimistic. We finished the, the first season actually relatively quick. Especially with all the cliffhangers, you just, you can't help it. You, it's too hard. You're like, oh, I have to know. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the main focus, like we said, is on Pablo Escobar, but also on Javier Pena. Pena. Javier Pena. And um, Steve Murphy, they're the DEA from, they're American citizens that live over in Colombia doing this type of stuff. So the movie is actually... Uh, the movie, why do you say movie? So the the show is actually highly entertaining. They have you guessing and second guessing yourself throughout the episodes. Which, and there's not one episode that's boring. Even though it's not like a fast moving really? action packed story storyline, I think the dialogue is re what really makes this show interesting. It is on Netflix so they do have a little more liberty on what they can show. They definitely show some gruesome scenes. It helps put you in the mood. You're like, oh. Right. You, like, you almost feel scared. I'm scared of like this actor. I know it's not really Pablo Escobar. The problems I had with it is they obviously keep true and they like to speak a lot of Spanish, which means there's a lot of subtitles for me to read, which did come in handy when it's 2 a.m. and we're watching this show and my eyes are getting really tired and I'm the words are kind of blurry and it's going by so quick. I like look down, look up. I don't know what they're talking about. He's over here fully enjoying it. And I'm like, what happened? What did they say? Pew, pew. <laughs> Be prepared. The first like two episodes, you're reading 90% of the time. And actually, I just realized with the time jumps being so big, there's something that doesn't make sense and it really bothers me. He has a son. I call him Chubby. <laughs> Why is Chubby still the same age as when we first saw him in 19 whatever to when the show or the season ends? Yet yeah, his baby sister has grown up. I hate it so much. The kid needs to be like a teenager already. Why is he so chubby and little? Stumpy little kid. Many of the actors, many of them are actually US born or they're from different countries. Whenever they're speaking Spanish, as a Spanish speaker, I can pick up on their accents. For some reason, it bugs me. I don't have that problem. Since it's based on a true story, the only thing that sucks is that 
you know how everything's gonna play out, especially if you know the story of Pablo Escobar, which many people do because he was one of the most famous and notorious kingpins of uh, kingpins of Colombia and probably the most famous narco in the whole world. I'll be honest, I have no idea who this guy is, so I have no idea. What I'm assuming he's not alive, but like I don't know how he died or if he was in jail. I have no idea. Just want to point out that while this show is based on a true story, it isn't completely accurate. There are many names that have been changed. There are events that didn't play out the way that they show. If you're trying to take this as a historically accurate uh, documentary portraying the events that occurred, uh, then no, probably shouldn't be viewed as that. It's not a history lesson, but if you just want to be entertained and you want a good story arc, this is definitely a good show for you. Definitely check it out. I probably will watch rewatch a couple episodes before season two comes out. If you have Netflix, go watch it right now. If you don't have Netflix, the fuck guys it's only like nine bucks a month right dude like you can watch jurassic park and powerpuff girls on there yeah, there's some good Get stuff it. on there and uh if not you know just borrow it from your sibling from your parents everyone know. knows somebody that has a netflix account i'd give you my my account but we have too many people on ours already and i don't like when it says like oh continue watching i'm like i didn't watch that <laughs> somebody else is watching it and it irritates me so much yeah if you guys have never experienced any other culture besides american culture it is a really good opportunity to do so you know you can see how much other countries hate americans so have you guys watched the series if you have what do you guys think about it i wasn't ready for that Oh, you're not? You're just gonna say more? Yeah, I love- I love this show! Like, you guys don't understand. I, like, turn this kind of music on to clean. Everybody that's watching this needs to go and at least watch the first episode, and then if you don't like it, okay, whatever, you're weird. But at least watch the first episode, like, please, it's so great! If you guys have watched the show, what do you guys think about it? If you haven't, will you watch it? Comment down below, let us know. And if you like what you saw and you want to keep seeing more stuff like you saw, then don't forget to subscribe. If you have seen it, whose opinion do you agree with? His. Or hers. And let us know in the comments. Or do I sound like I like love drugs? I just love Hispanic culture and like the way- Hold on, I'm not done. You deserve an A for effort. That's not part of Hispanic culture though. No, I'm just saying I love the Hispanic culture and but I also love like this like Building your own jail? That's racist. What? That's not racist.